Computer, a server mode. Ten years. Man, has it really been that long? It certainly has been interesting. <laughs> yeah, to say the least. How's the speech coming along? Oh, it's getting there. I hate giving speeches. Don't worry, you'll do just fine. I hope you're right. Well, see you tomorrow. Good night, Captain. Computer, freeze program. Ha! Yes! I don't know if this hollow program is helping me, Deanna. I just don't think I can bring myself to tell Captain Picard about the Pegasus. I could be ending my career, as well as the Captain's. What do you think you should do? I... I don't know. I have noticed Commander Riker has been spending a lot of time with Counselor Troy. Well, ever since they found the Pegasus, I'm sure the Commander has a lot on his mind. Deanna's probably just helping him through this. Perhaps. This whole situation makes me feel terrible. And how does that make you feel? You're right. I've got to get back to the holodeck. I can't give up. Thanks, Deanna. Excuse me, Jordy. I need to speak to the captain. Computer, resume program. Yeah, that Borg incident sure was fun. Jeez, so much stuff has happened to us in the past ten years. Hey, Travis. What? Do you remember when we discovered who that man from the future was? You know, the one who was helping the Suliban. Yeah, I could not believe who it was. I mean, who would have guessed all of this time it was... Computer, fast forward. I don't care about any of this. Trip, report to my ready room. Aye, sir. <laughs> Computer, increase the door's width. A little more. Okay, now a little less. Yeah, that'll do. Who the hell are you? Oh, uh, whoops. Computer, a server mode. What the? Where'd he go? Number one, report to my ready room. Now. Oh man, he sounds pissed. Computer, save and end program. Oh man, he knows. He so knows. He probably found out about the cloaking device. How am I going to explain this? Come! You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, Will. Please, sit down. Al Gray, hot! Will? I know. Sir? You can't hide it, Will. Practically the whole crew knows. Oh, no. Well, it was pretty obvious. Sir, I swear to you, I was going to tell you, but I just didn't know how. Will, relax. I'm going to help you. Help me? You see, Will, when... A man meets a woman. They sometimes develop certain feelings for each other. When the time is right, the man and woman act on these feelings. I... I don't understand. Oh boy, this is going to be harder than I first thought. Whiskey! Captain, 
What's going on? Well, Data told me you kissed Deanna Troy today. And we all know you've been spending a lot of time with her lately. Now, these feelings you're having for her are completely natural. You have blossomed into a beautiful young man, and the female gender is going to become more appealing to you. Oh, dear God. Now, when I was younger, I was quite the ladies' man myself. Why, I was doing the horizontal hokey-pokey practically every night. Now, let me tell you how to really please her. Sir, I, um, have to be somewhere. Right now. What? Where? It's... it's my turn to beat Wesley this week. Oh, very well. But we will talk later. Y yeah Thanks, sir. <laughs> Computer, resume program. What's up, Captain? Well, Shran contacted us, but that's not important now. There's ghosts aboard the Enterprise. Ghosts? I entered the room, I turned around, and a fat, bearded man came into the room with me, and, and then he vanished. Are you sure you're just not nervous about the speech? Oh, forget the damn speech! We need to assemble a security team and sweep the ship! Okay, look, if it makes you feel better, I'll have Malcolm and his men check into this. Alright? Fine, but I'm leading the team. We've searched every part of the ship and there's no sign of ghosts. Maybe we should ask Chef if he has any advice. Ah, oh, yes, Chef! Of course! Let's go! Chef, even though we never ask you for advice, we need it now. Yes. We think the Enterprise is haunted. What should we do? Um, check to make sure that... Hey, wait a minute. You're not Chef. He's not? No. It's the ghost! Uh-oh. Computer, freeze program! Unable to comply. Captain? Who's there? Who's in my room? Captain, it is me, Dave. Do with me what you will, but just don't hurt Teddy! Sir, I... <laughs> Get him, Teddy! Data, what the hell are you doing in my room? I attempted to contact you through the communicator, but you did not respond. Well, of course I didn't! I always turn the damn thing off when I go to sleep! <sighs> anyway, what is it, Mr. Data? What do you need? It appears the holodeck controls are not responding again. Is anyone in there? Yes. Commander Riker, sir. Well, get him out of there! Who are you? Listen, you, your crew, this ship, it's not real! Are you trying to sabotage my already cancelled mission? My god, it's another ghost! You are right, sir. Look at his white face! I'll take care of him. Trip, don't! Sir, is he? He's dead. <laughs> Kill him! <laughs> Are you alright, sir? Data, I need to get back in there. I need to hear Archer's speech. Oh, you mean Jonathan Archer's famous address to the newly formed Federation? Yes! Do not worry about it. You are not missing much. What do you mean? It is very boring. Oh. Picard to Data! Data here, sir. Did you get Commander Riker out yet? Yes, he is right here. Ah, well tell him to meet me in my quarters. We need to finish a conversation we started earlier today. I believe he ran away, sir. Computer, end program. Don't you see, Wesley? Doesn't this program put it all into perspective? No, no it doesn't. This simulation had absolutely nothing to do with my problem. Oh, I'm sorry. What was your problem again? Well, I get the feeling that the crew's jealous of me. Maybe it's because I'm so young, yet I'm better than all of them. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, Wesley, that's not it at all! It's not? Of course not! We just all hate you! <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, drop dead. Shh. <laughs>
Mr. Data, you're early.